Hey everybody, it's Olive, and today we are going on Flickr. This is the first Flickr with me since I've acquired this new little audience that I have right now. So that is super exciting. So let's get into it. I made a community post and I asked you guys what I should look up. So I'm going to be looking up some of those things. I'm super excited because right now, today while I'm filming on Friday, July 21st, I'm going to go see the Barbie movie after this with my divas. Let's get into it. I'm super fucking pumped. Yeah, let's get into it. All right. Let's refer to the phone. Let's see what you guys want me to look up. Something suggested by Eleanor Sherry 4620 said sneaking out or general teen shenanigans. Oh my goodness. Okay. So again, this video game, whatever this is, this is weird. This is this one is this is the weirdest one I've seen. I don't understand what's happening. And then why are they like like fake like people, but like people on the TV and the people in the picture are like real. That's kind of freaky. Look at this dramatic Blythe doll art. Oh my god, this is like a little series like by this people with these with these Blythe dolls. I've never seen a Blythe doll with this face. This is hor this is horrible. This is a horrible this is a horrible face for Blythe doll. I hate it. Yeah, I'm, I feel really bad for this doll. Sneaking out disappointed. I thought that one was going to have lots of stuff. Um, 2000s house party. So we can't just look up 2000s because they wouldn't be putting 2000s. We can look up like 2005 house party. Oh my goodness. This is not a house party whatsoever. Nothing about this is a house party at all. Please don't let me die. Um, this is horrifying. This is fucking scary as fuck. But it's kind of giving. I'm kind of into it. I'm kind of like, what is this aesthetic? Like, what is this called? Like, where can I shop? Oh, they just laugh. She does not look like she likes her. Like, she's like, oh, like, like this hand. Look at the way she's looking at her. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel bad for this girl. Let's take a look at this guy who, who took these pictures. Um, straight people. They, they, they never look like they are having like a good time. I mean, they look like they're having a good time, but their events do not look like a good time. Proof that life does not end at 50. Oh my God. When I'm this age, I was gonna say when I'm this old, but that's rude. When I'm this age, I am so excited to have house parties with my girlfriends and be living this life. Like, look, look at, the, okay, these two people back here, her and her, they are getting into some gossip right now. They are, they, like, she's really shocked and she's like, I know. Oh my God, look at this outfit, you guys. She looks so good. Do you know what I love about this? Is that it's like, if you're wearing an outfit like this, why is that the makeup? Like, why are you not wearing like dramatic makeup for your slutty outfit? What is, where's the slutty makeup with the slutty outfit? What, okay, what's going on here? I need to know what's going on here. What's happening here and what this is. Okay, so this, let's take a look at this person and let's see what they're, let's see what they're getting into. I love like awkward, like, innocent, untainted women with very minimal makeup on in like a slutty corset on Flickr, like doing a, like an uncomfortable pose. I love that. She's actually eating so much. She's eating so hard. What's happening here? Okay, what is this event? Lingerie in Soho, Manhattan during Halloween party organized by Hillary Flowers. Oh my goodness, I am obsessed with this. I am obsessed. I love the eyelash. Oh my God, I love the eyelash. This is going in the faves. For sure. Okay, so this is a red carpet event of some sort. What was this for? This was a, it, it's a Halloween party. Why was there a red carpet event? Why did it have sponsors? Why was it sponsored by the subway in a real estate place? Why was this Halloween party? She looks horrible, but I love, I like it. I mean, like I, when I say something is bad, that doesn't, that doesn't mean anything. To, that, that, that doesn't carry the same meaning for other people as it does for me. I think it's good the way that she looks, but she looks horrible. Oh my goodness, straight people. She actually is really giving. I'm actually really into what she's giving us. She's giving us like Carrie Bradshaw, I feel like. Um, I'm not into what she's giving us. She's a little too drunk, but she's only had one drink. Obsessed. Obsessed with everyone and everything. This Obsessed with her the most. Loving her. Um, loving her because she, she, like, she looks like she doesn't know where she is. Like she, she looks like she doesn't know what's going on, where she is, what's what's happening, but she's just here for a good time. Oh, this is, oh, I thought this was an office space. This is a little, this is a little dollhouse. Something about this, I knew it was a dollhouse. 
I knew it was a dollhouse. This, it just doesn't look right. Yeah, I knew, I knew. She's really happy to be standing with this like mummified thing. You know when like straight girls kiss at the party because they think it's gonna make the guys like them and they don't like it. The thing that I am picking up on this is the, is the eye line um, from this girl here. She's looking at the camera and this girl, she's just looking straight ahead. They're not connecting in any in, in in any sort of way. They're just they're just touching each other's tongues, very uncomfortably, playing around with my bestest girlfriend Sabine, with who I had a great night afterwards. Looks like they got they got they got downtown. Okay, Ooh, this makeup is really something. Let's talk about the styling. Let's talk about the beads. Let's talk about the earrings. And let's talk about this, like, this, like, this, this almost looks like those things you put on cars, like in taxis. Like, this is just quite a, quite an image. I'm kind of loving this, but I don't like the way that I feel when I look at it. Like, what is, what is this smile? She doesn't look okay. Like, oh, the hair. Look at this hair, you guys. If you have this hair, if this is what your hair looks like, if your hair is this wide, there's something, something has gone dangerously amiss. Obsessed, loving it, loving everything about this, loving this, loving the faces, loving the, f loving, 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 I love, I love, I love, I love. Here's the girl from before who didn't know where she was, what was going on, and that's still what's happening here. She's, she's very gorgeous, she has a great body, but just something about, and she's beautiful, she's a beautiful girl. Something about her face, she's just like, kind of just like, like she just doesn't, something about her face is just something, something in the eyes is not, is not there. Vampire goth 2008. I feel like in 2008 people still were like hesitant to like call themselves goth. So let's look at vampire 2008. Where are her legs? Is she just on her knees? It, it really looks like she doesn't have any, let me not, let me not in case she's, in case this woman doesn't have legs and I'm being insensitive to her. I feel like everybody had like a like a this face and like when they were like three years old. I'm kind of obsessed with this picture. This is actually so beautiful. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, her. Okay. It's Halloween. We're at work. Okay. Halloween day, show up in your Halloween costume. Marge decides she's gonna bust out the fake tattoos, the contact, the fangs the leather pants with leather boots. Marge really put the girls to shame with this one at the accounting firm. She doesn't look happy. She looks like she was set up to do this. This is sweet. I'm into this. Obsessed, obsessed, I love it. I'm obsessed and I love it. Okay, this is why, this is why I came here. This is why I came here. I'm, uh, okay, something about this. This is, okay, this is a really good example of 2008 and what that year, what that time period, what, what, what people emulating it are missing. They're missing this thin pink headband. That is what they're missing. There's a certain aesthetic to being different and desiring to look different and have a different expression, but not quite having the resources to articulate it fully. So you kind of are making do with what you have and sort of like, finding things and kind of putting them places they don't really belong. That is, and that's the, that's the beauty of this time period that people are missing now. So this is very valuable. I'm really happy with myself. Oh, she's dead. Model me, manipulation me, work. Oh yes, okay. Loving everything about this, loving her, obsessing over her, stalking her, doxing her, finding her address and posting it on Reddit. I'm obsessed, and I like her too. But she's everything. Oh my god, the boobs, the face, the piercing, the eyes. Okay, it's the way the necklace spills into them. It's the veins on them. It's the it's the sorrowful look in the eyes. It's her hand on her shoulder, comforting her, and looking into the camera, like she's about to be hurt, and then it's him just looking at me with that look. Whatever event this was, was one for the books. I wanna see more pictures. Oh my God, okay, I need to know more about her. I need to know where she is today. 
she, okay, I very much resonate with this one. I feel very much on the same page as this one right here. I really like this. I love the pink sock peeking out of the boots. Okay, I think that girl is Marilyn Mansfield. Okay, we found the, the jackpot. How could you say no to that face? I love her. Oh, Marilyn. Mm -mm -mm. No, no. Love, obsessed, can't get enough. Let's look at NYC Tattoo Convention 2008. That's a really good forward combo. Ooh, emotional. Bayonetta glasses, check them. Check the bayonetta glasses. When a stranger looks at you like this, you know you're in the right place. You know you're at the right club when a stranger turns and looks at you with that look in their eyes. So she won. She doesn't look happy about it, but she won. Good for you, girl. You don't even have any tattoos. I think this is so cool. This is like awesome. I need to see who that is, because she looks like she is like, oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with this. Okay, we got Marilyn Mansfield in the house, girl. Okay, wait, I'm looking at her. And I'm not looking away. I'm Okay, now I'm looking at, at, at her and her boobs and her smile and her blank eyes. Okay, okay, this is the Halloween party. We found it, we've located the Halloween party. Oh, my cat's coming to say hello. Say hi, Maple. This is Maple, everybody. I don't think you guys have ever had a formal introduction to her. She's super cute. She likes to sit on the keyboard. So I have to make sure that doesn't happen or else she'll mess things up. She's just gonna chill here for a minute. Okay, I, I knew I resonated with her. I knew I did. I'm, I love, I love, I love, I love her. Do you guys love that Maple is here saying hey? Ooh! This makeup. Beautiful. I love these like sexually, these like sexually charged pictures you take with your girlfriends. Those are always so much fun. Oh, this is hot, honey. Oh, I'm obsessed with her. Oh my God, look at her smile. Oh my God, she's so cute. I wanna be here. Shot glass in the boobs. There was a lot of emphasis on the boobs. Poker players and loose women are known to frequent this establishment. Looks like we were getting into some foot play. She was getting, she was getting worshipped of some sorts. Oof. Me and Rini. Marilyn and Rini. This is, this, okay. These are some brows on this one. These are some lips. What is that lip that people do? Where they, they widen the cupid's bow so it has so much space in between the two points of the upper lip. Okay, I'm actually obsessed with the hairs though, and I'm, I'm actually really into this. I wanna check out this person. Okay. Okay, we just got we just got right into it. Oh my god. If you listen to Hole, you get it. Shout out to Courtney Love. I'm obsessed with this person. This is hilarious. Which makeup look would y'all rock? I think I'm feeling this one with the chips. Oh, the nuts. Courtney Love gave me a bag of nuts when I met her today. I shall cherish them for the rest of my life. That's so sweet. I'm also into this. This this eyebrow. This white bejeweled eyebrow. You don't get a lot of those brows nowadays. Okay, what else are we looking up? Okay, hanging out at the mall. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The longer I look at this picture, the more things I see. So first of all, I'm looking at, at her face. And I'm taking it in, and I'm looking at her legs, and then I'm looking at her legs, and then I'm looking at her shoe, and then I'm thinking, is her legs or her skirt more orange? Then I'm looking at this outfit back here. Oh, what year is this? 2019. This doesn't look like 2019, this looks like 2014. Oh my god, mood right now, because I'm going to see the Barbie movie. Even though these are my scene, okay, something is, something is, one of these things is not like the other, and it's her. And it's her, girl. It is her. But I'm obsessed with this one. My cat is like in such an inconvenient spot. Like I literally can't see anything. Oh my God. I missed this feeling. I missed this feeling on the first day, the first day of school with your SpongeBob backpack, with your two shirts on. In first grade, I used to wear long sleeve shirts with tank tops over them. No one told me to do that. And I didn't like hear anywhere that that was like trendy or that made you cool. I just did, I just started doing that. And I would crop the tank tops. So I would be wearing like a long sleeve shirt, 
like a long sleeve black shirt with a cropped white tank top on top. This was my fashion sense as a child. Sometimes I look at an image and I think I was born to see this. And that's exactly what I'm thinking about this. I want to get into the placement of these eyelashes. Is That's what I want to get into, is the placement of the eyelashes. I think she thinks that putting her eyelashes, like, above her, like, uh, like eyeline, it, like, it, like, makes her eyes look, like, bigger, right? It, like, it's, like, giving her this, like, doll effect. She looks rough, okay? To put it nicely, she looks... She looks rough. Shibuya 109. Let's look that up. Shibuya 109, if you don't know, is um, like a mall in Japan. There's 109 stores. Okay. I can't even look yet because I'm obsessed already and I have to talk about Shibuya 109. It's a um, mall in, in Shibuya, which is a neighborhood in Tokyo. And it's like the mecca of like gyaru fashion. Like all the gyarus like go there. I remember reading in the Tokyo lookbook that one year they had like this really big sale at 109 and there was 40,000 Kiaru lined up to see the sale. So I'm really excited to see what is going on. Okay. I love the Kiaru mannequin displays. They're always so cute. Like some of like the like most circulated fashion images that I've seen are like Kiaru mannequins at Shibuya 109. Oh my god, beautiful. I need to go to Japan. Who wants to take me to Japan? Oh, look at these eyelashes. Look at these spidery eyelashes. She looks so cute. Oh my god. Oh, this is so beautiful. Like, this is what I, this is why I'm on Flickr is this. This, like, innocence, this, like, candidness, this just, like, moment in time feeling. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is crazy. What is going on here? Oh, what? Uh, Oh my god, I love this. Oh my god, I love this. This stuff is cute, but this stuff is like actually like cute. Like I'm looking, I like I want to see like funny stuff. Let's just look up some goth fashion. Sorry, I kind of stopped saying people's names, but goth fashion was suggested by Emily Isabella Nine. Shout out. She wants me to rate it and give some opinions. Okay, liked it at first. Now that I'm looking at it, kind of basic. Five out of ten. Ten out of ten. Nobody's doing it like her. Sorry about it. You guys are mad and I don't care. Thank you guys so much for watching this Flickr video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it lives up to the other ones because I feel like that first one was so good. I'm really proud of that first one. If you guys really like these videos, I'm down to make more. Let always, As always, let me know what you guys want to see from me because I'm always, I, I really want this to be a community. I really want you guys to feel like you're a part of this. So until next time, I love you. Bye.